I taught Lakari something, yeah? So, when I was, like, writing Lakari, like, a long-ass text here, I'll show you guys, okay? When I was talking to Lakari, I basically sent him, like, a long-ass list of stuff for him to do. But I think it's a good time for me to actually share this to you guys, too. Because then, this is actually quite decent. So, I was talking to Lakari, and it was in the middle of the night at around, like, probably, like, 4 a.m. Or, or, like, 3 or 4 a.m. or something after reset. And he was making like a lot of stupid mistakes when it was coming down to like picking units. And there's a very easy way to actually figure out um, how you guys actually want to play. So there's two ways for you guys to play. There's, cur there's something known as turn zero, as in turn two, really. But I call it turn zero because then you guys are really never taking a turn anyway. And then there's also turn one, which is what I mostly do. Yeah, I normally contest turn one, which actually causes people to actually get flustered a little bit because then they don't know what to fucking do. So... If you guys play turn, uh, play super slow, so like the way that you guys play, if, for example, if you guys play really close to what, um, uh, play what Cool Whip is currently playing, right? The way that he plays is that he plays super slow with, with zero to two, to one turn one unit, right? Normally, uh, this is basically how I picked versus him. I play turn zero. I don't really declare the fact that I'm actually playing turn one. And basically, I picked a lot of random neutral picks and contest picks. And this is a good way to actually, actually pick up the game. Especially when you know that two units that are turn one are actually banned. There's not a lot of units that can actually contest like Cerise here. And he wouldn't be able to uh, Cerise me either. Because I didn't pick GP. And I also have made Chloe, so there's no way Cerise could have been good here. Right? So, it's kind of like one of those things where you just play Nice and Soul Weavers for neutral. These are like your neutral picks. Yeah? And then I have Carrot and my Landy as my neutral DPS. Afterward, uh, if you're not like a turn zero, uh, turn zero player in this kind of situation when you don't actually have a turn one unit to actually play, um, and you actually do have an opportunity to pick something like F10A or some turn one fucking unit, whether you're a cleave or not, um, you can play like this. Uh, you can play, if you're playing turn one, you can start playing triple damage dealers and say fuck it. But you need two turn one units if you're planning to do this. This is basically cleave. So. Whenever you guys are choosing to play turn one, you guys always need to have at least like one or two speed contests. Normally, um, whenever you're, you're in this kind of position, I normally have like two units. I have a speed contest over here. And depending on what they really go here, uh, tells you or it, it kind of forecasts what you could possibly pick. In this kind of position, this guy still have not chosen a turn, uh, turn uh, one unit yet. So because then he hasn't chosen a turn one unit yet. I'm not really scared about what else he's going to pick. He's most likely very uh, fixated on my F10A. There's no possible way that he can actually like do anything uh, to try to do this. So he tried to draft solutions into my F10A instead. So whenever people actually tunnel into F10A, they actually don't know what to do. And they don't want to contest F10A. And whenever this happens, it gets very, very scary. Because then um, you never know what's going to happen. Um... You can actually you end up losing a momentum of your draft very quickly, and your top four team basically turns to trash. It basically means that this top four here will be just Omega Strong versus F10A. Because then he was, if if I end up picking like other units that, that makes him like force ban, he would be in trouble, right? And he already put himself into a position where oh hey I play Carrot, I have to defend my DPS because that's the role of the game, right? And because then he actually picks his Carrot first. It's very easy to just counter this. That's why first pick carrot is really not that strong. Especially if you have ways that you can actually just destroy this completely. F10A still doesn't work against FCC. F10A is not a very strong ver pick versus FCC because then the barrier gets stripped first, not immunity. Right? So that, that becomes a problem. Yeah? And then, afterwards, draft order is like this. If you guys are first pick, right? First pick should always be a neutral pick. Uh, neutral picks are things where they can actually fit in most drafts and most compositions. It's basically the start of your composition. Good neutrals could be like GP, Crow, FCC, Carrot, Clary. I only say Carrot right now is just because then if the bands are actually like forecast that you can pick Carrot, you can actually just pick her and you probably don't have to give a fuck. Um, because then let's say for example, if they choose not to like ban F10A or they don't have like any, if they didn't ban like any pick, um, that would actually stop Carrot. Um, then Carrot will be like an amazing first pick because then there's no way that you can actually deal with her. So let's say, for example, if someone out there is actually, they ban F10A, for example, right? Um, let's see. I, I'm pretty sure there was a match where someone banned F10A. So this guy, okay, actually this guy's a cleaver. So this is a little bit different. But I remember there was a match where F10A was banned and then uh, Carrot was picked up instead or something like that. 
So let's see. Carrot. Okay, maybe that, that okay, maybe that match actually went overboard, but I don't remember. Okay, I don't remember. I don't remember what it was. But uh there are times when you can actually pick carrot if shit like Opsig or F10A is banned. So it's a good neutral pick when you're first pick. Next up is like uh contest unit. Contest units are, are any unit that basically you know that your opponent really wants to draft no matter what and it's just good with their team. So like units that you really want to steal could be things like May Chloe, Deanne, Crow. It could be like fucking Carrot, Landy. You take your pick, you name your pick. These are like basically highly contested units. And it's really important that um that you contest units, especially in high ranks, because then when you contest units, people get kind of confused, especially if they kind of funnel into, into that unit all the time. So when you can test that unit, people get really confused. It's like when people take away my F10A, uh, F10A when I took FCC. I get really fucking confused immediately because then what the fuck am I supposed to do, right? And there are a lot of times that ad happened, but since I know how to respond to like F10A, um, it probably wouldn't really matter to me. Um, before, people used to contest my GP a lot, so it actually makes people kind of flustered. So there are some one-trick ponies out there that if you actually contest their pick, they kind of get screwed in their draft very quickly. So let's say, for example, you play against someone like Jinx, right? So you guys, everyone everyone knows Jinx, and he plays like fucking 3,000 uh, Soul Weavers, right? Like two to three Soul Weavers in a traps all the time. If you take away two of his Soul Weavers, he literally doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Yeah? Simple. Yeah? It, it, it's, it's kind of like a Keck W sometimes. And then... Contest, just contesting people's picks is kind of funny, but don't always be so fixated on that. Because then, the rest of your draft always needs to be either counter-draft counter or core composition. So, whenever you guys are drafting, right, your team always starts off with a... It, it, it starts off with, like, a base, right? There are things that you guys need to protect. Uh, normally, it's always your DPS. Uh, the standard uh, pick draft is normally if you are either a slow team... Or not a slow team it's always at least two two damage dealers and then three uh three utilities so that could be either a soul weaver uh, a knight or a turn one so that is should be the most common thing that you will find in people's draft uh even a cool whips right he has three three utility i will also call knight's utility and a soul weaver right and then he has two damage dealers it's basically kind of like the same thing here right um, it, it happens in most drafts. You even see it even here. I have F10A is basically my utility as well. I have FCC DN. And then you actually have like a two damage dealers over here. Uh, most of our drafts actually end up being like this. And you actually see it no matter what. This is basically like the basics, right? Now, let's say, for example, if you're like one of those people that play like light, um, like you're a cleaver, then most of the time people can actually end up picking three damage dealers and they say fuck it but that's only if you pick two speed contest units already that way you can enable your turn your, your fucking dps team otherwise it would just be sus right can you post your builds I, I will later and then afterwards there is second pick so second pick is a little bit weird because then you're in a position where most of the time your picks get kind of contested so it could be very weird sometimes there are times when people just take away your FCC and shit. You have to pay attention to the bans and stuff. So depending if you know how your player, your uh, your opponent plays, you can easily just contest them with like stupid shit. Yeah. So in my case, you can always go with something with double neutral or double contest or one one for one contest plus neutral. So there's like a lot of ways that you can actually play a uh, second pick. Second pick is normally kind of weird. Um. It could be like you could play like crowd with the end. You could play like so many different like, different combinations when you're like second pick. But the problem with second pick is that you're kind of stuck with uh, your first four. Um, and if your first four isn't very strong, you're kind of cooked, right? Next up, depending on your pick, is a repeat of step one. So when I when I say it's a repeat of step one, basically if you pick double neutral, then you have to pick double contest, right? And contest units are always like DPS and so on. Yeah. And then afterwards, last pick. Your last pick, whenever your second pick, should always be a force ban. So, whenever your second pick, right? When when I say force ban, you have to play as though you are really good with your first four, and your last unit, no matter what, will be a force ban. That's when you know that it's a good draft. You know that you have a good draft if your last pick, no matter what, has to be a force ban. 
if for some reason it is not a force ban that's a problem because then that basically means that uh your draft could be extremely weak and it can be like omega sus and you don't really know why and normally second pick can be very very bad because of that because if you can't find a way to actually force ban it's a problem now cleavers suffer from this the most is because then they always whenever the second pick they're very fixated on their first four but the problem with them is that they only focus on core composition not 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 exactly um like contesting shit right you're not stealing away people's pick you're just going straight in you're just going fucking ham so they always have a problem whenever they're second pick therefore light says if you're not first pick you lose the game and that's the problem with cleave the problem with cleave is that you could only play like a specific composition no matter what and because you're forced to play one composition practically all the fucking time you get yourself into like a boom state and that that is like boomage kind of thing yeah so you don't ever like cleaving is hard because now it gets to the point where it's a gear diff more than more than anything more than anything else and yes it is coin flip because then the majority of your games is if you can't counter pick and you're forced to play only core grabs then you're basically booms you, you get me there's a higher chance of you booming if you're not first pick, if you're a cleaver. Because then that basically means that no matter what, um, your first four picks becomes kind of weird. Because then for second pick, your last pick has to be, um, it has to be like a force ban kind of shit, right? And it's really hard for cleavers to actually draft a, for a force ban. Yeah? So, for him, basically, uh, pivot, everything else, some good picks that he, he kind of tunnels, he, he forgets. Senya, Deanne, Cerise, Lilius, Dilibet with Stripper, Alencia, Politis versus Clary, something like that. There's always a lot of combinations. Uh, Deanne is always an amazing last pick. You guys actually see me pick her a lot of times. Like, you guys wonder, oh man, dude, this motherfucker is going all cleave and all that shit. I'm playing turn one, but really, there's no other turn one unit that I can actually pick her that can actually keep me safe. And a problem with him, with this guy, is that look how fat he is, right? If he bans one of, one of my DPS, I'm boomed. There's literally not many ways for me to actually pay turn one in this position. So, insert Soul Weaver, go AFK. You could do Deanne, you could do Ruel, you could do whatever you fucking want, and it kind of works, yeah? Sometimes the last pick is kind of funny, because then it, it's just kind of... It, it's just like that safety position, no matter what. Right? And then afterwards, uh, if you guys lack AoE damage dealers, this is like kind of a big problem for like a lot of people. Um, if you guys don't have a lot of AoE damage dealers, like, let's say, for example, if you're a person that chose not to fucking get RB, yeah, and then you guys struggle versus, like, stealth units, and I know stealth units are kind of a pain in the ass right now, then here you go. Build Carrot. Don't be like Lakari. Build fucking Carrot. It's a lot better for you to actually build some AoE unit that you can actually contest, and don't be so fucking stubborn, especially if you want to win, alright? Don't be a little bitch. Being played the unit. This a fuck. Get in there. She's uh, she's really good, okay? Taga Hells is a very powerful artifact, okay? You could use Taga Hells with a lot of things. Yeah? Now listen, he plays A. coli a lot, yes? Remember, A. coli has a soul burn right here. Now, if you have a soul burn right here, that's kinda lit, right? You fucking butt blast them with increased damage dealt, and you could basically one shot like a lot of different things. So, this is kind of lit, you like this, you want to actually have it. So therefore, carrot good unit. Mages are kind of broken, and there's not a lot of units that can actually fit in any fucking draft like S10A or carrot, and also a whole Taga Hells. Yes? Therefore, Taga Hells, good artifact. I use this a lot, I even use this with a Sid. okay? People even see it, I use it with a Sid. And there are times when my Alexis Vasket becomes like a dumb fuck fucking like... Artifact that never fucking procs. So, if it doesn't proc, guess what? Hey guys, I have Soul Burn. It's a dub. Okay? It's a dub. Increased damage dealt, you cuck them. Okay? There's, there's really two universal mages right now, and I personally think that is Carrot and, uh... That is Carrot and Spec T. There's literally not many other, uh... Taga Hell mages that you guys can actually pick up. Uh, everything else actually kind of sits into like a weird position of like, I don't know if this is- wait. Have I been using Politis without- Uh, shit. No wonder I didn't strip. What the- 
I wonder I didn't strip. There was a match that I used fucking... Hmm. I think I kind of ran over that match already. Was it this match? I think it was this match. And I think I used Politis and I still won, but... Ah. Uh... This would have been a lot easier if I had talk uh if I had violin, huh? Ah. Okay, you know what? This happens all the time. You guys know me, okay? Politis is a broken unit, okay? You don't care. You don't care about her artifact, you don't need it. Got it? Alright, and that's basically it. Yes? You guys learned something? Very good.